All right, I have my goggles on and I'm ready to play. My name is Sloth154. Welcome back to Wild Hearts. Now it's been a while and I've done a lot. I'll show you as soon as I get the chance. So we got to talk to Shuzaran because uh, we took down the death claw that attacked us in the first episode and then something else showed up. But I have been doing a lot of hunting. Let me show you on the map. Oh my god, I'm on chapter three, but I finished out all the hunts in chapter two. Got a bunch of new armor, bunch of new weapons. I'm ready to fight. But right now I'm wearing the oh. the Argent set, which is the set made from the death claws. I've made some progress with my research. I also have a poison weapon, which helps. Sorry to keep you on tender hooks, but I think the examination of the Rasetsu now. As I'd predicted, a paltry amount of celestial thread remains in the Death Stalker system. Far less than I would normally expect to see. It must have been struggling to absorb thread for quite some time, which probably explains its appearance on the Spirit Isle. It was trying to satisfy its hunger. But why there? It's hardly the easiest place to get to. Why not head for the canyon first? Yes, we can only conclude there must be some reason why it chose the island. It was what safe. Is, what reason? Perhaps it was routed by a stronger kimono, for example. You're the smart person. That's obvious. There's no other kimono that could have threatened that thing. Well, we saw the fucking bird. It's clear that this Rasetsu was fighting for its life, searching desperately for celestial thread, which should ordinarily be abundant in these parts. Just as humans have fought over land and resources since the dawn of time, kimono try to gain supremacy over those around them in order to survive. It's the providence of nature. Is it though? Yes, most probably. The kimono have been peaceful for years, but now they're starting to push violently into new territory. An alarming trend. So it won't stop with a wolf. We might have to leave. Other kimono will follow, you mean? Surely not. I'm a terasu, though. The bird of auspice is a different beast. Let us revert our attention back to the Rasetsu and the attack on it by Amaterasu at the frozen fort. The after effects of that conflict may already be starting to show in disturbances in the weather or surrounding flora, for example. I haven't been able to tell. I've been hunting monsters. But Minato could conceivably be affected. So I wonder if you'd revisit the castle and look around. Yeah, sure. Consider it a hunting request, if you will. As long as you pay. We escape mortal danger only to be told to turn around and march straight back into it. Well, sounds like we got our orders, Chief. Are you gonna fight with me, buddy? Let's just hope we don't run into any more of those wolves. I could take them down easy now. I mean, I've made an, a set of armor off of them. So if you end up liking this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. I have a link to the playlist for this series and other games I played on my channel. Let's go hunting. But we're one more area to get into, but let's go. Wait, doesn't the forest look strange to you over there? What looks strange? You gotta be more specific, buddy. That must be what the system was talking about. I'll look around and see if anything else looks unusual. Shout me if you run into trouble. Sure. <sighs> so yeah, uh, this is a pretty good game, and I've been having fun doing it. If I do run into a monster, I am gonna immediately call for help because I will need it. <sighs> Yeah, it's been a while and whatever's here. I can hunt easily. I have weapons that let me I have a I've create I built a line of weapons based on fire and uh, ice Ooh, King Tusk No, wait, is this a King Tusk? Oh, oh my Uh, 
Yeah, the King Tusk should not be here. Yeah, I could take it down. And this is my new favorite weapon to use. So I'm gonna take this thing down real quick. Oh, two star, how cute. Yeah, I don't need help with this. I was not able to see that properly. gonna hurt you more than hurts me Oh no, what are you gonna do? Get trapped. Oh, it's poison. Oh, you run away? I'm coming for you, King Tusk. Oh, wait. These are very much less uh, cold. So something moves here that's able to generate heat. Yeah, this snail's not usually here. So let's... All right, let's kill this thing. Yeah, this uh, this is usually covered in snow. So something did change the ecology here. Yeah, there wasn't this much green glass in the last chapter. Oh, look at it, it's angry. I'll be honest with you guys. That's my accident. Yeah. 
Fire! Before it runs away. Come back, buddy. Our business is not finished. Yeah, the only downside about using the claw but call claw blades is that they don't really break uh major parts off quickly like i'm used to yeah this is all different oh look fume bleak Oh yeah. Okay, thank God, I'm recording. No, this is over. Oh, this is, this is an upgrade. So these are new parts I'm getting. I had a feeling you wouldn't take much longer dispatching that thing. Are you here? Excellent work. But look at this place. Clouds of spring blossoms here in the snowy peaks. I gotta talk to uh, our buddy. I forgot how to say his name already. <laughs> He's inside the the book the boar. Oh, we're in the high tier now. Blossom trail and cross the snowy mountains to get here. And it would have to be tough to make that journey. But how could one King Dusk be so different from another? Different environments. Why is it so hot here? There shouldn't be flowers blooming in the snow like this. We should get back and report to the sensei. Can you hear me? Either of you. If you can hear, then answer. Not me. Nope, not here. Are you in trouble? A huge camel. Oi, Matsue, what's going on? What huge camel? We need to get back to town fast. I've got a very bad feeling about this. All right. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, the bird of office attacking. It's just another kimono in the end. Not to be trusted. First things first. Whoa. Let's make sure everyone's safe. It probably feeds on celestial thread. So we just kind of brought its attention to here. It just never had a reason to attack you guys because you suck at everything you do. All this hard work. I built up all this place. I built this place up so much and got. Who did she get on? Thank the spirits you're back safe. The 
town is... It's too awful. But we have to tend to the wounded. That's because you all are horrible at move. survival. We need help. All the help we can get. I do not understand how they survived for this long. <laughs> we didn't fight for our home. The last of the fires have been very mean to these people. What happened? The bird of auspice. Amaterasu attacked us. She destroyed people's homes. Tried to kill people, even. That's because we're siphoning off their food. But it was so sudden. The hunters have their hands full just trying to get people to refuge. Your hunters suck. How am I the best hunter here? I just got here. Even the spirit wheel. The situation is dire on the seaward side of town. Every residence lies in ruin. We were powerless to do anything. All we could do was run for cover. It was pitiful. The bird of... Well, Amateras has flown over the town in the past. But she's never shown any sign of attacking before. That's because she eats we celestial thread. How do you danger. people not know this? You have lived with these things for we generations. By that. We felt secure, but we'd been lulled into a false sense of security. Kimono are oblivious to the feelings of humans. And humans are oblivious they to are the feelings of humans. every other thing. The great bear and Amaterasu, for example, see humans like Ants. A nuisance easily brushed aside. You just made it. We treat Kimono as they treat us. If they are a nuisance, we too strive to eliminate them. What in times of peace you call the bird of auspice, in times of war, you will simply call the enemy. You're so right. What is lost? Honestly, is all of you should just fucking move. We must turn our faces from the past and gaze into the future. But what can we? I guess I have to kill it. Actually, yes, you're right again. There is something I can do. Perhaps a perusal of my wares would be as good a place to start as any. Why the fuck would I buy your stuff? And what of you, Hunter? Eh, I'll look around town. Fine idea. The sight of your fulgurant face will bring warmth to me. Stop using these college words. Oh, my leg. <laughs> <laughs> she says her leg. This guy is straight up dead. Your leg? He's dead. I don't think that was the right. I can't believe this. We were naive. We should never have assumed he wouldn't attack us. Seriously, you were a village of hunters who hunted these things, and you didn't. They're just stupid. Ah, there you are. Seen the town? It's a wreck. Homes in tatters. People wounded everywhere. Some worse than that. Damn that kimono. This is Otsuki Castle all over again. Ripped apart. Not a soul left. Cold. Dead. All right, I will let. I was powerless even then. All I got was an eye. One measly eye of one measly wolf. And now I'm wearing that wolf as armor. Don't you feel ashamed? I won't let history repeat itself. You might have to. But seriously, he complained about them moving into moving into uh, where humans live. He didn't. It doesn't even see, reach people like this. That to build all of this, and I said it. I think it might have been the previous episode. To build all of this, you have to remove every living thing and everything that technically lives in this area if we 
all pitch in and work together. We can overcome this. Why the fuck aren't you building your city that. inside the rock? Oh. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What a miserable sight. The hunter's town in such disarray. Why there are more like you among your ranks? Perhaps this I've been saying that this entire goddamn ranks. series. Well, since episode but three. For mere mortals, the aggressor was too strong. The kimono grow ever more desperate. They tussle for territory. They clash for prey. Hunger now drives them to kill one another. And Minato is not the only casualty. Soon across all of Asma, nature will be destroyed. Plants will wither. Blizzards will howl. Mountains will crumble until finally rising waters will cover it all but in you in you is the power to stop this in you there is the seed for some it is a duty for others destiny but oh, mujin and i blame you you only you had one seed you? that's your fault you have the strength to hunt these gargantuan kimono. But do you have the will? What compels you to hunt now? Yeah, I'm always looking for something stronger. So it is power you seek. Your experiences in Minato have changed you, no doubt. Not really. There is resolve in your words, unfaltering and true, which leaves but one thing to say. You must value life, or all that awaits is death. Above all, survive. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's everyone else who's screwed. Why are you that far away? God damn it. Okay, I'll see you guys over there. Oh, my house is fine. <laughs> These poor suckers. Say Amateros comes back. Would me not to get wiped out? Uh, I don't think so. But how? I'm here. You destroy everything. All our homes. If that isn't wiped out, then what is? If Minato's flattened, I don't have anywhere else to go. No home, no family. No point thinking about the future. We don't even know if we have one. Well, I do. I am going to be fine. I want you all to know that I will be fine. What if everything we see and touch to dust eventually objects people places Minato is no different he must have an end like everyone else I've seen my fair share of ends more than my fair share perhaps the village I grew up in burned to the ground overnight the thieves who torched it. A pile of rotting corpses. Daimyo Ishido. Destroyed by war. Then finished by Kemono. Everyone fights it. But when the time for your end comes, nothing can save you. I learned that a long, long time. But even after this horrible attack, I see a flicker of hope in your eyes. I see defiance. I know 
someone else with eyes like yours. So what? But I don't understand where your strength comes from. Undying confidence. I have not died in everything I've done. It's too my father always used to say people are scary creatures, but Kemono are even worse. I don't think so. Humans attack out of hatred or greed. They destroy property because it's in the way. Kemono don't think like that. That bird was just acting on instinct. Flying around, beating its wings, snapping its jaws. Wait, how's that Kemono worse? A reason to do it. But when nature bears its fangs at us, sometimes we have to stand up to it. Nope. For our families and for our friends yeah this village is full of very self-centered people and how the fuck do you think the fact that humans consciously are cruel and horrible to each other for their own personal gain is somehow less worse than a animal acting out on instinct the animal's not th doing it for itself it's doing it so it can survive humans do it because we want shit That giant bird did this, surely. Hmm. We know Amaterasu was attempting to establish territory around the old castle. That resulted in the ousted Rasetsu's failed attempt at taking the spirit isle. Yes. We're seeing more and more kimono leaving their usual stomping grounds. And there can only be one logical cause, of course. Of course? Maybe this is one time we should just jump to the conclusion, Sensei. All across Azuma, and perhaps beyond, the celestial thread that sustains Kemono is drying up. That explains why Amaterasu targeted the town. Celestial thread is now in abundant supply here. Are you trying to say what I've been saying? Exactly. It's trying to absorb Minato into its territory. Reviving the Karakuri on the Spirit Isle was. Cavalier. But that was done for Minato's survival. The Himesama, the elders, everyone agreed it was the right thing to do. But and you didn't know the consequences. It's done, it's done. Now we have to eliminate this bird before it gets too damn comfortable in our town. We need your skills here. Find out where Amaterasu is now. No. The burden's too great for a lone hunter. And besides, rather than blindly searching, Waiting here would be far more practical. We can be sure it will return. It will be eager to conclude its territorial claim. Then we have to bolster our defenses and fast. Can we ready the Karakuri we used against the Earthbreaker? Those won't reach. Since I came to siege warfare, though the investment is a single foe. We need to prepare and deploy carefully. I'll take command. Goodness, Ujishige. Such motivation and not a sake cup in sight. He doesn't want to die. Who do you think I am? I was a samurai general once. Now I've got a hundred things to do. I'll leave the Kanaki with you. Well, his military expertise will certainly be useful. But we can't ignore the overwhelming strength of our enemy. We need a secret weapon. In fact, I was just talking to Natsume about that. It's probably better if she explains herself. You should find her assessing the damage to the spirit wheel. All right. But like I said, my house is fine. I don't know why you guys are being such big babies. All right, I'm going to get out there. I'll see you guys once I'm out there. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Just when we managed to get the wheel working again. Completely mangled. What we did on the spirit I was. No. It's all right. I can fix this. Oh, I've just been talking to Suzura Sensei. Okay. Do you remember what I told you before about how there used to be another tower next to the spirit wheel? A second giant Karakuri? I do not. There was a picture of it on the stone tablet I found on the spirit isle. 
From what I can tell by studying the picture, it was a weapon used to repel Kimono. I think we can reconstruct it. I'm making it sound easy. Obviously, we couldn't possibly build it from scratch at this stage. But if we fix the wheel and hook another old Karakuri into its mechanism, we should be able to make it work like the other tower did. Or at least, that's the theory. The first stage is to have Rensang and her crew repair the main structure. Okay. We could really do with your help too. Would you be able to gather the materials we need for the Karakuri part? No. It's a very old device that I can't put together with things I have lying around. It's going to take some rare materials with unusual properties. As it happens with the Kemono fighting each other for territory at the moment, their bodies seem to be undergoing changes. We might be able to get the sort of materials we need from these clashing Kemono, but they're fiercer than ever. So please be extra careful. I don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, leave it to me. Arigato. Then let's not waste any time. Actually, could you guys kimono in the sun? Oh, mighty kimono. Okay. So the changes in the territory kimono in the surrounding wilderness can become stronger than usual. These mighty kimono are a source of new materials which can be used to further enhance your equipment. Take on foes you've hunted before and build up your art build up the arsenal you'll need to defeat Amaterasu. I can do one more hunt. First things first, I want to see if I can uh, use the stuff I got to upgrade my one of my weapons. Did I open this up? All right. All right, guys, here we are at our first hunt in a while. Oh, large Miss Chris. They our first high ranking hunt. Switch my weapon, have my best armor. Well, what I feel is my best armor. The fight begins. And this person Luna is nice enough to help me. Wait. Oh no. Cool, Lupus! Lupus and Luna! Huh. Wait, is this mine? Alright. Here we go, the mighty rage tail. I'd like to thank Lupus and Luna for doing this hunt with me. Oh, oh no, I got aggro. Destroyed. 
Ooh, we are doing damage. More like, actually, they are doing damage. Actually, I want to. No, I'm slow. All right, depending on how quick this goes, I might be able to get another hunt in. Firing my favorite Katakuri. Down, you go. Good job, guys. Yeah, I can squeeze another one in. Ooh. A nice trophy from there, too. So now they're just going to show up everywhere. Yeah, so I did accidentally join someone else's fight. There we go. Yeah, spore tails here too. That's weird. Yeah, it has. Don't be taken by surprise. There are maple leaves everywhere. A canyon camel must be along the blossom trail somewhere then. To think something so beautiful could be caused by something so foul. Well, they're not really foul. They're just animals. They're just existing. I can hunt one more. Oh, look, a spore tail. I don't want to fight that. Because I was lucky enough to join someone else's team last time. I can hunt one more creature. Oh, I do have a tower here. How about this? So I'm going to hunt the scorch tail. There it is. Then I will end the episode. Hopefully he doesn't have any new moves I have to worry about. Oh, this attack did get more widespread.
bought that. Done. Don't set up now, huh? All right. Cool, I got help. Leaving so soon? Indeed. <laughs> All right. So I know what I'm going to do in between this and the next episode. Neat. Hi for you, buddy, but not me. I got another person to help. Oh, it's angry. Look at it. Hold on, stop. Let's soften you up. Do not take this from me. Go, man. All right. Yeah, I was able to do both. Thank you, people who helped me. Kulinan, and I can't read the other person's name. But we'll return to Minato and end it there. Oh God! Thank you both for so so much for your help. This has been a boon on my life, but I also have other things I need to hunt before the end of the before I kick off the next episode. Oh, you've got 
Okay. Come to the foot of the spirit wheel then. Oh god damn it. All right, so I'm gonna get to them real quick. That should be all the materials we need. Ooh, new armor. Back to town as quickly as possible. I'm already back in town, Natsume. All right, let's fix this thing. Arigato. That's perfect. We'll be able to make great progress with this. With Uchishige-san organizing everyone to help. We only have a few finishing touches to make now before the weapon is ready. I've never seen him working so hard before. Because he doesn't want to die. An echo of the man he used to be. Not that I'd know. So many people who end up in Minato have had difficult pasts. Ujishige san is no different. But I think he's. Again, you're all stupid in my eyes. And rediscovering his samurai roots. Minato is a unique place. A lot of different grains working together here, unexpected ways. Somehow, you all seem to rub along. And when a crisis hits the town, you all prop each other up. Because they don't want to die. Inspiring. So, you can count on me and my crew to do our bit too. <laughs> we already think of you and your carpenters as part of the town. We're all in this together against Amaterasu. Would you mind going to see how Ujishige san is doing? We've got things under control here. Oh, yes. What? One more thing. Obviously, we'll all do our best, but none of us know what this battle with Amaterasu will bring. I'm gonna kill it. Perhaps this would be a good time for you to have a think about which Karakuri might come in useful. When the unforeseen happens, even simple karakuri might just tip the balance in our favor. All right, wait. Bring in steak. All right, so we're gonna talk to Ushige-san one more time, and then I'll end the episode. Not quite. Don't take too long. Everyone needs to be fully prepared if we even want to stand a chance. So I'm going to do that in the next episode. So between now and the next episode, I will be grind hunting to get better armor, better equipment so I can fight this thing to my fullest ability, fullest abilities. So if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. I have a link to the playlist for this series and other, game and other games I played on my channel. Tell me in the comment section what you think about the game and what you think about the village. Because I have mixed feelings about these people. Tell me what you think about them. Can I sit here? Nope. Oh, come on. You can't give me a bench like that and not let me sit. Tell me what you think about the game. What you think about the village? Do you think they're idiots like I do? Because they're idiots. So, if you made this far in the video, Brian thanks you, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.